It is an extraordinary morning for SpongeBob. He wakes up even more excited than usual. For today is the day Mr. Krabs announces his appointment for manager of the Krusty Krab 2. And SpongeBob knows in his heart that he is the sponge for the job. There is an added spring in his step, and the world is a brighter place. He needs to get ready for work, and then it's off to the Krusty Krab. Destiny awaits. Looks like a beautiful day outside. The perfect weather for a promotion. It's jammed. I need something to pry it open with. My alarm clock. I tell you, that thing is loud. It scares Gary half to death. Good morning, Gary. I had that dream again, Gary. Wow. And it's finally gonna come true today! Because today is the grand opening of the Krusty Krab 2! And I think we all know who Mr. Krabs is going to promote to manager. Wow. Right, what? No, silly me! I'm ready. Promotion. What do you think, Gary? White shirt and red tie for the big day? Gary, you're so witty. <laughs> Will the quip never end? Absolutely delightful. Are you hungry, little fella? <laughs> Maybe just a little around the eye stalks, but it looks good. You were too thin before. <laughs> I am not just saying that. Well, I can't stand around here gabbing all day. Bye, Gary. <laughs> The knob is broken. I need the remote control to turn it off. I think I need that thing. It's a spatula. Quite useful for flipping Krabby Patties. I can't go outside in my underwear. Doing it in front of you. Close your eyes. Ah, squeaky clean. Squeak, squeak. It's my special toothbrush, made for only two teeth. Bubbles are coming out of there. It's jammed. I need something to pry it open with. needed to jimmy it. White shirt, brown shorts, red tie. Classic. My clothes. I need them. I'm bashful in the nude. What you doing? I'm composing the next movement of my latest open. He is unwelcome visit from neighbors. Right what you know. Opus, huh? What do you want? SpongeBob, I'm sorta of busy here. I was wondering if I could borrow some of your toothpaste. 
I'm out, and I want to look my best for the grand opening today. I'd love to help you out, SpongeBob. Only I'm not going to. Can I please have some toothpaste? My breath is getting sort of briny. I noticed that. It's horrible. I weep for those around you. How can you compose a porpoise with the radio on? Oh, but... Can the radio give me... Uh, ideas. I mean, inspiration. I don't steal my melodies, if that's what you're saying. Maybe I'll turn the radio off for you. Would you like that? I'd do anything to help. Honestly, SpongeBob, I couldn't care less what you do. As long as you do it as far away from here as possible. Is it the opening of the Krusty Krab too exciting? I want you to know I plan to thank you in my managerial acceptance speech. Did you happen to notice that I am showering? Well, bye for now, Squidward. Oh, you're leaving? My horoscope was right. Today is a day of great joy. Ah, much better. Now Squidward won't be so deaf to the rest of the world. I can't take that. Squidward might see me. You have got to be kidding! That isn't going to work. Mm, that isn't right. Manager, sir. Say, Patrick, tonight after my big promotion, let's go out and party till we're purple. I love being purple. Why are you watching a TV that isn't even on? My remote stopped working. You could just get up and turn it on. There's no need to overreact. Patrick, that's my remote. No wonder it doesn't turn your TV on. So, you say this is your remote? Yes. Then what is it doing at my house? That's what I love about you, Patrick. You always ask the really important questions. Exactly. So, um, can I have my remote back? Oh, then I'm gonna have to get up to turn on the TV and go to the kitchen to get more ice for my kelpsy. Why? 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 This cruelty is unbearable! Well, what if I got you some ice for your Kelsey? Then you'd only have to get up once. You'd do that for me? No problem, buddy. Getting ice is what friends are for. Except in France. Well, bye for now, Patrick. Well, don't forget us little people in your ascent to management. Strong. What you doing? I'm trying to fix this phone line. It's broken. I need to use the phone. It's really important. Well, I'd be glad to let you know when I'm done. It's gonna be a while, though. But I need to use the phone now! What do you want me to do? This phone line repair is delicate work, and it takes time. Hey, is that why you're real or bad? I don't follow. Get it? Phony? Cause you're a telephone man? Oh, that's rich. Remember when I said hi to you and you got so scared? Ah, good times, good times. I can't help it. I have a problem with loud noises. I don't even own an alarm clock. Boo! Don't do that! I'm gonna get going. 
Have a good day. Bye. Let me just connect this wire to this thingy. There. That wasn't so hard. The TV is way too loud for me to make a phone call. I should turn it off first. up and take it. It's melting. Uh, now wait just a minute. This ice is cold. Uh, yeah. You don't fool me for one second, mister. Okay. I'll let you off easy this time, seeing as you probably have other things on your mind. But don't let it happen again. Okay, I won't. Here's your remote. Thanks. There! Now I can hear myself think! I would call Squidward, but he keeps changing his phone number to avoid me. Am I really that annoying? Squidward's new phone number. He sure changes it a lot. I should give him a call sometime. SpongeBob. <sighs> aye, aye, aye. He could be there listening to the sound of the ocean all day. Even think Squidward has teeth. He won't miss it. Aha! That did it! <laughs> Hooray! My teeth are clean. Now I can go to the Krusty Krab to accept the mantle of manager. I'm ready. Responsibility. Meanwhile, Plankton lurks in the chum bucket, cooking up another evil plan to take over Bikini Bottom. He is a jealous and egotistical creature. His height may be measured in millimeters, but his vanity spans leagues. Hey, watch it. I can hear you, you know. Oh, a thousand pounds. What I meant to say was, help Plankton find and carry out a plan that will make all of Bikini Bottom tremble at his awesome power. You know, I'm kind of starting to like you. Looks like a beautiful day outside. Perfect weather for implementing an evil scheme. Let's see what we can come up with, shall we? Ah! 
It's a symbol of the oppression of the working class. Also, it's a wrench. Down here. What do you want? I need to find a way to steal Mr. Krabs' secret Krabby Patty recipe. I've tried everything I can think of. In other words, not much. You aren't helping. Have you checked all the evil plans in your filing cabinet? Yes, every last one from A to Y. There is nothing left. Um, what about Z? Z? Z, the letter after Y. Groups? Oh, boy. I'm spiritually bankrupt. I have no soul. How can I find my place in this cruel, cruel world? You're complaining to me about having no soul? I'm a computer. Have a little tact. Oh, uh, sorry, <laughs> my dear. That is all for now, wife. Return to your spousal duties at once. By spousal duties, do you mean overlooking your many faults and watching you blunder your way through another doomed attempt to take over the world? I have one word for you. Magnet. You couldn't lift it. Now let's see. Plan C. Steel crown. Frame crabs. I like it, I like it. It's got panache. So let's do this step by step. Step one, get to Neptune's castle and steal his crown. Child's play. You think that mop looks too big for me to carry? Shows what you know. Robot SpongeBob, move! I order you! He isn't answering my commands. He must be broken. Luckily, as his creator, I know his innermost workings. Fixing him should be a snap. A wrench can be quite a precision tool, as long as you know exactly where to throw it. Robot, do my bidding! He still isn't listening to me. I can't openly override his programming. I'll have to find another way to get him to move. I can't do that. I can't get to it. That plastic SpongeBob robot might squash me. I'll need to get him to move first. I can't possibly get to Neptune's castle without my jetpack. Think, man, think! I never have any customers! But don't cry for me. I use the rejection constructively to feed the evil, you understand? Information. You have need of intense therapy. Not funny. What is it this time? That is all for now, wife. Return to your spousal duties at once. By spousal duties, do you mean overlooking your many faults and watching you blunder your way through another doomed attempt to take over the world? I have one word for you. Magnet. You couldn't lift it. So let's do this step by step. Step one, get to Neptune's castle and steal his crown. Child's play. I don't think so. Even trying that is ill-befitting of an evil genius such as I. That isn't gonna work.
never have any customers. But don't cry for me. I use the rejection constructively to feed the evil, you understand? That's the menu. I program the robotic SpongeBob to keep it orderly and rearrange it when the specials change. Karen may have helped me slightly. That seems perfectly normal. Uh-uh, not even close. I have a college diploma for Neptune's sake. That isn't right. Where's Karen when I need her? That seems perfectly normal. I never have any customers. But don't cry for me. I use the rejection constructively to feed the evil, you understand? SpongeBob and see if he performs his duty. My jetpack. It allows me to fly far above the heads of those who will one day be my vassals. Whoa, this jetpack doesn't handle too well. I must not have tightened the phalange sufficiently. Let's hope I don't get into an accident.
Neptune's castle. Why don't I have a castle, you may very well ask? Sadly, that question lacks a satisfactory answer. Anyway, let's get down to business. Quizzling. Did I just hear something? Yes, down here. Answer me before I destroy you! I could have sworn I heard something, but I guess it was just the gosh tootin' wind. Blast. Oh, well, I doubt she would have had anything interesting to say anyway. <laughs> it's a stinky seahorseshoe. Seahorses don't even have feet. What genius thought of these? Yuck! The sea is dirty, dirty sea. Yeah, seahorses. Smelly beasts. You wouldn't need a battering ram to break these down. A battering worm would do just fine. and I would never bite you. I don't know where you've been. I knew we needed to get the castle tinted. Listen, Tony, I need information. What do you want from me? I'm trying to get into the throne room. I have important business with King Neptune. Now, how would I do that? You probably want to bite him. I assure you, I do not. The doors to the throne room are electric. There's a button on the side that slides them open. I call it the electric slide button. I can't reach it. Guess you're going to have to bite someone else then. Can you help me open the doors? I'm not opening the doors for a louse. For the last time, I am not a louse. Well, I'm not opening the doors for you anyway. There's a nail sticking out of the wood next to the button, and my hat always gets caught on it. I'm not risking my 3070 cotton blend for anybody, especially a louse. A nail, huh? Hmm. You're a jester, right? Do something funny. Er, uh, how about this? Wow, limber. So, how do you like your job? It's all right, I guess. But I don't like living in this castle. It's really gone downhill lately. I mean, look at this carpet. There's a loose thread right there. It's embarrassing. I've got to go. You can say that again. You have got to be kidding. It looks like a button. Unfortunately, I can't reach it. I'm not going to jump up and down trying just to amuse you. I'll have to find another way. Nuh -uh, not even close. I have a college diploma for Neptune's sake. I can't get up the stairs and I wouldn't want to anyway. We are here to get Neptune's crown. Let's try to focus, shall we? I can't go down there. The stairs are too big. Better not. They would probably throw me out. You have got to be kidding. Doing that demonstrates a defined lack of evil. I refuse! Hello again, Vassal! Whoa! Another sea louse! We must have an infestation! Can you help me open the doors? I'm not opening the doors for a louse. For the last time, I am not a louse. 
Well, I'm not opening the doors for you anyway. There's a nail sticking out of the wood next to the button, and my hat always gets caught on it. I'm not risking my 3070 cotton blend for anybody, especially a louse. A nail, huh? Hmm. I've gotta go. You can say that again. The door is way too big for me to move. If only my intellect could be made flesh, I would be unstoppable. That isn't gonna work. That isn't gonna work. It's an image of a book. I guess that's so people who can't read have no trouble finding the library. Hmm. They must be made of balsa wood. I'd better not. They probably wouldn't be very friendly, and their boots look heavy. Did I just hear something? Yes, down here. Answer me before I destroy you! I could have sworn I heard something, but I guess it was just the gotcha to wind. Lost. Oh, well, I doubt she would have had anything interesting to say anyway. <laughs> need a battering ram to break these down. A battering worm would do just fine. It's a nail. If I could tie a string around it, I could probably reach the button next to it. It might be a threat to some, but to me it is a coil of the strongest rope. Aha! It's a stinky sea horseshoe with a thread tied to it. Genius, I tell you! Over matter once again. Each victory is sweeter than the last. Aha! Once again, my genius silences the pundits. Mr. Krabs, prepare to meet thy doom! So Plankton steals Neptune's crown, sending Neptune into a rage that pervades the entire ocean. Ah! 
Meanwhile, back at the Krusty Krab, things have not gone well for SpongeBob. <laughs> it seems Monsieur Krabs has seen fit to make Squidward manager instead of him. You see, Mr. Krabs thinks SpongeBob is still just a kid. But SpongeBob, being a creature of great fortitude, takes the news extremely well. <gasps> After an embarrassing evening at Goofy <clears throat> Goobels, SpongeBob returns <clears throat> to the Krusty Krab the next morning, only to find King Neptune has frozen Monsieur Krabs. <gasps> he believes that Mr. Krabs has stolen his crown wow. and will fry him to a crisp if the crown is not returned in five days. Neptune's daughter, Mindy, tries to change his mind, but Neptune is as stubborn as he is mighty. SpongeBob, in a fit of heroics, vows to save Mr. Krabs and show everyone once and for all that he is a man, not a kid. So help him retrieve the crown. It is in Shell City, a mystical place far, far away. Find some means of transportation and get going. Okay. I better get to the Patty Mobile, quick. That's the only way I'll be able to reach Shell City in time to save Mr. Krabs. I don't need to go in there right now. Looks like it needs a pass card to use the elevator. Tongs! An essential component of any chef's apron pockets. He's out cold. Hey there, Squidward. I just wanted to say... Congratulations on the promotion. <laughs> a lot of good it does me with Mr. Krabs frozen. Who's gonna sign my new and improved paychecks? To show that there are no hard feelings, I'd be more than happy to sign your paychecks. SpongeBob, you really are a knucklehead McSpasmatron. So I need to get to Shell City quickly. I'm gonna use Mr. Krabs' Patty Mobile to get there. What do you think about that? I think all pedestrians should be put on high alert. Me too! Do you know where Mr. Krabs keeps the Patty Mobile? It's in an underground cavern beneath the restaurant. You can get to it through the kitchen, but you need a pass card to use the elevator. Barnacles, where can I get one? Well, as manager, I was issued a pass card just today. Woo! Can I have it? No, you can't. But I need it! I lost it, okay? I was cleaning a table, and it must have fallen out of my pocket. There were a couple of kids in here earlier, a boy and a girl. I bet one of them took it. Barnacles. Don't tell Mr. Krabs. If he ever gets unfrozen, that is. Well, goodbye, Manager Squidward. I have to go save Mr. Krabs now. Ha! Uh, yes, well, good luck. I'm sure you can't possibly fail. Hey, you're right! Thanks, Squidward! Hi, you look familiar. Where have I seen you before? I come in here every day, and you say the same thing to me every day. That probably explains it. Mm, no, no, I don't think that's it. Did you go to driving school last summer? Or the summer before? Or last fall? Or winter? Or spring? Basically, have you ever been to driving school? I'm there pretty much all the time. No, never. Ever driven a car? Yes. Aha, uh -huh, that must be it. I must have seen you driving around town. Hey, sure, whatever. You know, Mr. Krabs was frozen by King Neptune because his crown was taken to Shell City. I'm going to go get it and save the day. I've heard rumors to that effect. So what are you doing standing around here talking to me? Why don't you get Krabs' patty mobile and get going? I plan to. There are a few things I need to do first, though. Well, don't take too long. I've heard he doesn't have much time. I'm gonna get going. Have a good day. Hey, with you gone, how could I possibly have a bad day? That's the spirit! Hey, 
it's you. Good to see you didn't have a heart attack. Please, don't go scaring me again. I'm in quite a state. Why, yes, I am. How nice for you to meet me. So, what are you still doing here? Isn't the report over? Well, yes and no. Part of being a good news reporter is being able to anticipate events. And I think Mr. Krabs getting fried will be the story of the week. Oh, well, if that's why you're here, you can just go home. I'm gonna save him. Me and my buddy Patrick are going to go get the crown back from Shell City. Don't be offended, but I think I'll take my chances. If I save Mr. Krabs, will you do a hero piece on me? Hmm. Hero pieces don't skew as well as deep fried crab pieces. But perhaps, who knows? Yeah, me! Well, I need to get going. Saving Mr. Krabs and all that, you know? Yes, well, good luck with that. there, little girl. Hi. Hey, have you seen a card with little holes punched in it lying around? Oh, you mean the super powerful magic plastic thingy? Uh, maybe. You seen it? Yep. Do you have it? Nope. Morty has it. Oh. Who's Morty? My friend. Do you know where he is? He went to Goofy Koopas. He said he wanted some weird ice cream. Thanks. I'm gonna go. Have a nice day. Bye. Well, I guess if I'm going to find Morty, I'd better visit Goofy Goobers. Strictly business, though. You like Goofy Goober, huh? Yep. Me too. That's nice. Hey, what's that thing on the table? It's my Super Magic Fairy Card of Power. I found it at the Krusty Krab. Ooh, can I have it? No, I found it. It's mine. I'll be your bestest, most friendliest friend. Eh, no thanks. Isn't there anything I can do to get you to give me that Super Califragilistic, that... Thingy. Hmm, I guess I might trade it for some fried ice cream. Fried ice cream? Ugh. Hey, don't knock it till you've tried it. So, fried ice cream, huh? Yep. Okay, I'm on it. Good luck. They don't make it here. Well, I gotta go. Important matters demand my attention. Hey, I know that guy, but he looks busy. Best not to bother him. Hi! Oh, it's you. I remember you. Did you get the carpet cleaning bill yet? One order of fried ice cream, please. We don't make fried ice cream. Well, what do you make? On fried ice cream. All right, Skipper. One unfried ice cream cone. Here you are. And after last night, one is your limit. And don't call me Skipper. Ah, oh, the other day. That was fun, huh? We ate some ice cream. And we were singing. Fun? I was here all night cleaning up after you. Kindly don't do it again. I'm off. Thanks, Barkeep. Hey, any day you don't throw up on the bar is a good day. It's an ice cream cone with tongs attached to it. Brilliant!
fryer isn't working. In the commotion of the Krusty Krab 2 opening, nobody even noticed. Here you go, kid. One fried ice cream cone. Hooray! Crunchy and creamy. Jimmy, can I have that pass card now? Uh. Yeah, take it. Mr. Crab doesn't trust people enough. This is my favorite song. Hello, Mr. Manager, sir. Nothing can stop us now, Patrick. Feel the wind in your hair. That's the taste of freedom in your mouth. I thought it was a bug. Huh. Our friends have successfully obtained the Patty Mobile. This should make their journey to Shell City much easier. Sacre Bleu! What is this? <laughs> Shortly after crossing the Bikini Bottom County line, our friends are stopped by a thug who demands that they give him the Patty Mobile immediately. Our friends put up a valiant fight. But alas, in the end, they are no match for the vile ruffian. So, it would seem they are back to square one. Don't you think? Yep. So, what have you fellas been up to? Not much. It's enough fun just watching poor saps like yourself try and survive over the county line. Oh, but we did go to Goofy Goobas last night. That was fun. Shh. Why'd you have to go and tell him that? Well, you looked like you were having fun, singing and dancing on the tables, and then you... I did not. Yes, you did, and you hugged Goofy Goober and told him he was your best friend, and then I got upset because I thought I was your best friend, 
And then, pay no attention to him. And then, you got the sheet music to the Goofy Gooba thing. Because you said you wanted to go home and learn to play it on your harmonica. I don't even have a harmonica. I really have no idea what he's talking about. Oh, yeah, yeah? Well, then, why don't you empty your pockets? You're still wearing the same pants. I bet the sheet music is still in there. Don't be ridiculous. Excuse me for a moment. He even said that Goofy Goober was his hero and that he wanted to be just like him. Where did he go? Okay, I'm back. No sheet music in my pocket. I have no idea what you're talking about. And I think we should stop talking about it right now. Did you just throw away the sheet music? I am never speaking to you again. So, how's life on the Bikini Bottom Frontier? Tougher than you can handle. Ain't that right, Lloyd? <laughs> <laughs> These guys are getting on my nerves. I'm off! You ain't gonna last ten seconds over the camera line. <laughs> oh, yeah? We'll see about that. music for the Goofy Goober song. Who in their right mind would throw this away? It's a gas pump. Our car. We have to figure out a way to get it back. The guy who took it probably has the keys near him. Let's just march in there and take them. Patrick, I think we're gonna have to be a little more sneaky than that. Maybe if we distract him. Yeah, distract him. Then we can take the keys while he isn't looking. Sounds like a great idea. Okay, let's get to it, buddy. I gotta go to the bathroom. But Patrick, what about the distraction? Barnacles! I don't think so. I don't think so. Hello, Barkeep. Nice place you've got here. No, it isn't. It's a nasty place. And we'd like to keep it that way. Ah, well, you know best. What do you want? In case you didn't notice. I'm in a bad mood. May I please have some ice cream? <laughs> ice cream? Only babies eat ice cream. You're not a baby, are you? Uh, no? I mean, no. I'm not so sure about that myself. Watch your step or you'll end up squashed. We deal with babies in a most unpleasant way. I'm gonna look around your beautiful establishment, if you don't mind. Ooh, must have the red carpet for Mr. Fancy Talk. Why, I oughta. Hi there, mister. I mean, misters. Hello. What are you two doing? We're drinking rusty dirt water and trying to remember the words to a song. Oh, yeah? What song is that? That's none of your business. Is it the Goofy Goober song? Yes. No, I don't mean, maybe. Why, you know it? I know most of it. Want me to teach it to you? No, if someone hears, we'll get in trouble. Maybe I can find another way to show it to you. You do that. We're not going anywhere. Here you go, fellas. The sheet music to the Goofy Goober theme song. Enjoy. Shh. You have to say that so loud. Thanks. Hi there, large person. What do you want, Runt? We're playing a game here. Do you know what I hate? Sandy feet. Cause then you get sand in the bed, and you can never get it all out, and there's always this one last grain. And no matter how much you shake the... 
Beat it before I beat you. Did you ever visit Muscle Beach? You probably work out there. <laughs> Muscle Beach, don't make me laugh. I get all the work that I need beating on people. In fact, you're tempting me to launch into a few reps right about now. Yeah, you know, I go there sometimes. Work on the lats and pecs and uh, fingers. Great. Why don't you go there now, before I get all unpleasant like? Well, I should let you get back to your bullying. Yeah, if you know what's good for you. Which I doubt you do. Uh, exercise? Uh. Hi, Patrick, old buddy. Hey, SpongeBob. What you doing? <laughs> right. Well, you seem busy. I'll leave you to your insane mutterings. There's no soap in the thing. I don't think so. I don't think so. Hello again. I'm back. Still alive, huh? Surprising. Say, the soap dispenser in the bathroom is out of soap. My hands are kind of dirty. You think you can refill it? You're lucky I don't refill you. To the brim with a pipe and hot butt whooping. Fine. It'll get you off my back. Well, squeeze me dry and call me Gerald. It works! There, bully. Hope you're happy. Actually, I hope you're miserable. Don't forget I said anything. I'm gonna look around your beautiful establishment, if you don't mind. Ooh, must have the red carpet for Mr. Fancy Talk. Why, I oughta. So, having reclaimed the Patimobile as their own, Hooray! SpongeBob and Patrick are once again on their way Yay! to Shell City. Meanwhile, Neptune's daughter Mindy has been grounded. Help her get out of her father's castle so she can help our heroes. I have to find a way out of here. Maybe I can commandeer Daddy's seahorse carriage. It's very fast. And I need to get to SpongeBob and Patrick as quickly as possible. <laughs> 